heads is the call. Tails. Two black cats. On a bat? Yeah, two on a bat. Alright. No worries. Good luck, guys. All the best. Okay. So you get ready here for the first delivery. Bit of away movement from Atinda. Well, Atinda Singh, he's back in the side. He was a man who, at the end of his first over yesterday, the over went for five runs. This one has been hit and will stay hit as well. So he's going to latch onto one of them and he gets hold of this one. Four runs. So Jeremy Jacobs, after swinging and missing, gets this one out of the middle in the air and well it's no hands on this from i think that is a uh, dipak singh who gets past him so gets another valuable boundary to jacob so once again this is the reason why i've been saying all along that i like to see jacobs up the order with somebody that can swing the bat can swing it hard oh well this is gundy and he's been put away he could have got the wide from it but he sends it to the boundary and uh, now it's a uh, Pereira who sends his uh, first delivery to the boundary. In the air, chance taken. And that's the first wicket. So <laughs> it has to happen that way to goza. He shouldn't be there, should he? He should be at the other end. It should have been a single taken. And it is Indica Pereira who stops him getting the single. And the next ball is the wicket of Jeremy Jacobs. He's saying... Shiv Singh, and this one is over at the top, and it's going to be four. That's a really nice shot by Pereira, and you can just tell he's got a good technique. He gets something slightly over pitch. I like that he follows through with this shot. It's still a cricket shot, but he's not afraid to elevate. And that was just pure timing there from Indica. Good batting. He's probably thinking, okay. Oh, well, talking about losing a shoe, this is how you lose your stumps. He's lost the castle. Tuck the putt there. Bolson has gone. That's beautifully bowled by Doba. Well, no point keeping him behind the stumps if you can bowl these beauties. That's an absolute beaut. He's having a special day as well. His 10th wedding anniversary. And he'll start with a little cut. Gets past the fielder. This will probably go for four. That's good batting. Well, I know that his wife, Rangini, will be watching. And uh, hello to her as well. She's been down here once or twice to watch live. This is smart batting. To leash into this. Let's see. There he goes. Hits it pretty well. And he's going to get four runs. Nicely hit. And this time... Indica Pereira does manage to duck out of the way of it, and uh, it will stay hit. And this is what I think Indica was trying to do, just trying to dabble the way, get a single, get Raj on strike. That's well hit. Four runs from him. There it goes. That's a run hard. I think they're going to go for it here. Bowler's end is on, and it's going to be a run out. That's some selfish stuff from Pereira. I think he knows his role now is to try and give Central Raj the strike back. And so he'll be sacrificed for a run of ball 24, but he has provided some stability to their innings. Anyway, last ball, 62 plus this. And it'll be sliced away. Fielder comes around. They're going to come back for two. And I think this is just out, you know. Yeah, do they get this extra run or not? That's what it comes down to and how important could the extra run it be. It just feels like you see him plonk the bat down and it's late. It's not it's out in the end. So they've given the benefit of the doubt. So I think they've gone with the on-field call, which was, which was not out. So uh, they'll finish 64. They'll have to better their best or that they, uh, that they defended already. We saw them score 65. Sassy Kuma is a man that's going to try and get some early breakthroughs from them. Can they do it? This is going to be pretty wide and he's called. This one is a full toss and just as I say he has, he gets a bad one out. He goes for the Yorker, gets it wrong and this is hit hard and uh, goes into that vacant mid-wicket area for a boundary. This time it's smashed hard outside the off. It's going to be four more. This is a good shot. A little bit too short from Sassy Kuma as he tries to correct the line. And uh, got some sink, rocks back. Well, he gets hold of this one because it's in the zone. Well, that's more like it. If it's in the zone, you're going to put it away. And you can just see the way Gotham Singh is batting. Anything that ends up in the swing zone is going to disappear. 
get near this one it's straight down the ground and this one I think will go all the way yes it will bolle 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 manos arriba porque eso es una cita seis carreras que guay que grande that's Akuma pulled and what oh, a good catch that is yeah. wow. oh yeah oh yeah that is magical and it's Stevie Roy what a catch what a hand one hand delivery catch yeah well Stevie Roy is just has put out the go-go gadget arm here yeah and dropped and I under well don't understand either drop but I really don't understand the second drop because it pretty much just was still in the air the so first. Jacob Klang's the first one, but he's literally hanging up in front of his eyes. Here's Stevie, a little bit short, and this is a really good shot from Ravi Pahl. It's deep in his crease, sees the length, and he times it very well. He's going to crash into the wall that, uh, that joins the cricket field to the tennis court. Here's Stevie. And this is in the air, hanging. Fielder comes around and takes a very good catch. And uh, Paulson, I know he hasn't really clicked with the bat, but he's fielded excellently today. And so Ravi Powell is going to have to go for nine. Stevie Roy with the wicket. Not his first wicket for the week by any means. He's been good. And the wicket, Abolash. Well, this might be out, you know. I reckon it's off the face of the bat. And he's gone. Yeah, it certainly took a deflection, and it wasn't the body. It was definitely outside the line of the body. So Abolash gets a bit of luck. That's the only way you can describe it. And Maitani, his day doesn't get any better. Just watch this. Certainly outside the line of the body. So there's a noise there, and there's it's probably not a great follow-through from Abolash, who runs straight down the middle of the pitch. Roy needs to bowl the over of his life here. This is hit straight, hit powerfully, and I think this has gone for four. As a, we'll just have a look at this on the replay, but it's a powerful straight pull, basically, from Negi. I think it might go all the you way You think it goes all the way here? Let's have a look on the replay. I had it as four... It is just, well, Ooh, man, a few nervous moments. I think Negi's still a threat. He's going straight. Now, this is a big moment in the game. He's got to catch it, and he does. So, well taken by Mohamed Rafiki. And, well, finally, Kalyan plays a shot in anger, and he gets it most of the way to the boundary, but he doesn't get it past Mohamed Rafiki. And that will be another wicket. And so, Kalyan departs for two. Here's over number eight, and Paulson's getting a ball. And this is cut away, and it's cut away well. A lot of work for the field to do. He's not going to get there. So yeah, they haven't got Negi, and he is the threat. A little bit of length outside the other stump there, and he plays a very good cut shot. Just executes it well. The timing was there. Hello, back to you, Rico. This is in the air. Now, this has Massive. to be caught. It is caught. Well, it's a proper ice cream cone, and, well, he's caught the ball, and then he's lifted up in triumph. And what a good catch that is. I mean, Aswan Sivan, this was about as much pressure as you can get here at the Master Cricket Ground as the key man, Negi, is going to fall just short of the target. And I think some nervous moments ahead for the Blasters. He misses. And that's exactly what happens. So four of four. Oh, high drama here. Misses again. No call from the umpire. And he... He just sneaks this in, Paulson. Four off three, so we're above a run of ball for the first time that I can remember. And this is a good call from the ump. It's definitely inside the line at the point. Goes for it, and well, if this gets the rope, it's game over. It is going, it is going. It is not going to make the rope. They're going to come back for two. Well, if they hit the stump, it would have been gone. Well, I thought for a second this was running away for, for four. Yeah, going, look at all me. the field. They're coming in. And Kohad, any score to take the Blasters into the finals. And he will get the runs he needs. In fact, that one will run away. And I think it'll be four. So Kohad gets the Blasters there off the very last ball of match 18. And I think that, I know we'll have to wait and see what happens this afternoon. But that will be the strike that sends Gozo heading out of the tournament.